Welcome back, everybody. My name is Nick. This is Swiftful Thinking, and I'm now in the Swift Concurrency playlist. And I'm adding a video to the end of the Swift Concurrency playlist that is going to be specific to working with the new observable macro. I think this is a very important video for Swift UI developers who have been using at Observed Object and are now switching to the macro because as I'm gonna show you guys in the video, some of the error and the warning messages that we used to get when we were using the Combine framework, so when we were using the at published, some of those error messages are actually not occurring anymore because of the new macro. So it's not necessarily a bad thing that the error messages are not occurring, but it's a bad thing that the developers might not realize some of the mistakes or bugs that they're actually adding into the code. And those errors are mostly around publishing from threads other than the main thread. So a couple of videos back in this Swift Concurrency playlist, I covered how to use Swift Concurrency with the main actor. And one of the solutions that we came up with was putting the observable object, the entire class, on the main actor. And that was great, and that worked for a while. But unfortunately, we can't do that in tandem with the observable macro, at least not today, because the macro cannot be specific to an actor. And so what we're gonna do now is talk about how we can still make sure that we are updating our app, our UI from the main thread, even while using the new observable macro. The code here is not hard, but I think there are some things that are getting lost in translation and leading to bugs in some apps. Let me know in the comments below if this cleared anything up for you, and I think it'll probably save you a couple bugs, maybe a couple crashes, because I know it did for me, so it must be helping somebody else as well. Let's jump into Xcode and check it out. All right, we are back. This time I am in the Swift Concurrency Bootcamp. So those of you who followed along the Swift Concurrency playlist, it's all about async await. We did a little bit of MVVM in there, but we're going to talk in this video a little bit about using the observable macro with async await with actors, with main actor, with MVVM. Uh, primarily because there's a couple kind of threading issues that I think most developers are overlooking when they use the observable macro. I only think that because I did it myself for a while and I didn't realize what was happening. So I wanna show you guys an example of the problem and then a quick solution here. It's gonna be pretty easy, but I think it is worth talking about. So. I'm going to create a new file in my project here. It's going to be a Swift UI view, and I will call this observable bootcamp because this is the only file that we're using the observable macro in this playlist. So if you don't know how to get to use the observable macro, I just did a whole video on it. It is at the end of the Swift UI bootcamp playlist, just how to use the observable macro. So I'm going to assume you guys already know how to use the observable macro from that video. And then in this video, we're going to talk strictly about some of the threading issues that come with this new setup. So before we get into it, let's set up our MVVM like we have been setting it up this entire playlist. So I'm going to use the observed object protocol, set up a quick little MVVM here. Let's create a class and call this observable view model and conform to observable object. Open the brackets. Inside, let's put an app published. Let's make it a variable called title of type string, and I'll set it equal to starting title. And in my view, I will initialize the view model with a state object. We'll call private var. We'll call it view model, and we'll set it equal to observable view model. All right, this is our prior to iOS 17 setup. We're using observable object and not the observable macro. And when this screen appears, I'm going to call a task so that we can execute some asynchronous code. And this task is gonna call a function inside my view model. Let's create a function here called update title. Open close parentheses, open the brackets, and update title is going to basically just update the title. So we'll call, we'll set title equal to some new title. All right. All right, from the view, we'll call view model.update title. And as soon as it renders on the screen, it obviously works. All right. I'm gonna make this the first screen in my app here. So I'm gonna to go to the app.swift file to make it the observable bootcamp. I'm gonna build this to a simulator and let's just make sure it works on a simulator real quick. All right, it is up in my simulator and it looks like it says some new title, so clearly it works. All right, but now let's pretend like we're gonna do some background processes. Let's make an actor here. We'll call it maybe like title database, something for now. And in here, we're just gonna say funk get new title. 
and this is going to return us a string. Let's just return some new title from that function. So in my view model, let's get a reference to the database. So we'll say let database equals title database. And then in my function, I'm just gonna set title equal to database.getNewTitle. Now, when we do this, we need to await to get into that actor, right? If you don't understand actors, you don't understand how await works, then you haven't followed this playlist yet. Follow this playlist first before getting to this video, obviously. We need to await. So that means this function needs to be asynchronous. So async, and we will await. Now, when we call the task down here, we also need to await because this is async. So we will await here. I'm going to build and run this to the simulator. And it works, right? It works. Some new title worked, but we get this purple warning that comes through the combine framework that says publishing changes from background threads is not allowed. Make sure to publish from the main thread. We've seen this many times on my channel. Anytime you're using observable object and a pub at published and you're publishing from a background thread, you get this warning. So this is really, really helpful for developers, right? Because we know as soon as we run this to the simulator, okay, there's a threading issue here. I need to make sure that this is going to be updated from the main thread. This should not, this is probably not a new warning to you guys. And one of the ways to solve that prior to iOS 17 was making our view model conform to the at main actor. And now if I run it, we know that these functions are going to return back onto the main actor, right? And so now the warning goes away. Easy peasy. Problem that we're talking about now is actually that when we convert to the observable macro, that purple warning we just saw is not going to appear. I hope in a future version of Swift that they make that warning appear, but that warning comes from the combine framework and the observable object protocol. And because we're not using this protocol anymore, we don't get that warning. And I think that's going to cause a lot of bugs in a lot of developers apps. So that's why I'm talking about it today. So just to show you guys, Let's convert this view model now into at observable. So I'm going to move quickly through this because I already did this in the Swift UI bootcamp video. We're basically going to make this class marked as at observable. We're going to remove the observed object protocol. We're going to remove our at published variables. This database here does not need to publish to the view. So I will make this at observation ignored. State object becomes at state. And we have migrated. But now I'm going to build and run this to the simulator. And I need to update my project here to iOS 17. Again, you can only do this if you're building for iOS 17. Uh, I'm going to build and run this to the simulator. And it's going to work. It's going to say some new title. And we did not get any warning here. That's what I'm trying to highlight. We didn't get any purple warning that there was a problem, right? But we know that we removed the at main actor from this class. So if I come in here and I print out thread.current and I build and run this, we can see the, the thread that's printing out is thread number five. So when we updated this title, we actually did it from the fifth thread, not from the main thread. And we didn't get a warning that we can't publish from the main, from background threads. That warning was very helpful for a lot of iOS developers. And it kind of just disappeared with this observable macro. So let's remember as devs that anytime we update the UI, we need to do it from the main thread. And unfortunately with the observable macro, at least as it is today, we can't mark the entire class as main actor anymore. It causes other problems because of the way that the observable macro compiles. So how are we going to solve this? There's a couple quick ways to solve this. Firstly, let's just remember that we always want to update from the main thread. So now we're going to go through a couple ways that we can solve this problem pretty easily, actually. First and foremost, we can mark the title, this property, as at main actor. So now anything that tries to update title is going to get a warning that it needs to be on the main actor. And we can see here, main actor property title cannot be mutated from non-isolated context. So now the compiler knows that this is happening from a thread that's other than the main actor, and it's causing a problem. So one solution is we could put this entire function onto the main actor. So before we had the entire class on the main actor, and now instead we can just make this function at main actor. Build and run that. 
Looks like it works. Print out here says thread number one. So that is the main thread. Looks like everything is working. If we don't want to mark this entire function as the main actor, we could instead just get the, get the title. So we can say let title equals this. And then we can await main actor dot run. We can switch on to the main actor, set self dot title equal to the title. And I will just print out the thread here. Build and run that one more time. Looks like it works, printing from the first thread. And then one other way we can do this is if instead of making this function async, if we started a task inside this function. So for example, if this was an on appear, let's get rid of the await here. Let's make this a regular function. Let's get rid of our main actor dot run. Actually, let's just set title back equal to the default state that we had. And if we created our task inside this closure, we can actually make this task run on the at main actor in this closure. Build and run it one more time. All right, and it looks like we are updating from the main thread. Awesome. I think there's a lot of devs who are converting to observable and not realizing that there are some threading issues, primarily because that purple warning that we saw at the beginning of the video is not there anymore. Uh, that is something that I wish we still had. Uh, I myself got confused here, so I hope this solves somebody, some bugs in some app. Uh, last thing I'll point out here is that the task modifier, every time that we have some sort of await, so for example, here we are awaiting, we need to recognize this await represents there's a possible switch in threads. And that means in my code, I need to know at some point I need to switch back onto the main actor. So either we can mark the function as main actor, we can await to switch back to the main actor, or we can mark the tasks as main actor as I did before here. Awesome. Now you guys know how to use observable macro with async await, actors, and MVVM. Thank you guys for watching. As always, my name is Nick. This is Swiffle Thinking, and I will see you in the next video.